Hello there everyone, this is iMark3 and welcome back to a bit of Everspace 2 where we play as Adam Roslin straight laced, hard hitting and absolutely loyal GMB employee of the month who is never suspicious and does everything perfectly forever and ever, amen <laughs> yes, well because we ran into our worst enemy on this mission last time in the form of Adam uh, not the GMB Adam, our Adam. It's just too nice for this stuff. Um, I figured I'd pull some strings behind the scenes, and I have managed to get them to take my craft that they were a bit suspicious of, throw it into a smelter, and give me a pristine, brand new GMB approved vessel, resplendent in white, grey, and gold. Yes. This shows my loyalty without a doubt, I assume. <laughs> Absolutely. To be honest, last time is like, um, ew, last time just Mega Corporation doing what Mega Corporation does. And my friend, the trader, mentioned he was going to get eliminated at the end there. And something half remembered off the wiki ages back said if you don't rescue him, then he doesn't show up the rest of the run. I think that was for Everspace 1. Because that that was like um, a roguelike do run, go back, do again. This is like more of a story time thing. So I'm guessing that's not there. But cards on the table right now. If there is an option for me to just go abandon the mission, go and save the smuggler, I'm going to beeline towards that one. Just because I want to, I'd rather save my friend than serve the person who... Um, caught me, put me in a bad situation, and then forced me into this situation here. And has made me complicit in the deaths of everyday innocent civilians who GMB don't care about. Actually, that brings me back a little bit to... Um, I was going to do this after we launch, but um, for now. On part 20, there was a comment from Happy Hafer. Because at the time I was wondering how the GMB stay in business. That's like a megacorp, inertia, all that is my theory. But um, Happy Hafer says, um, How are they still in business? I've stopped wondering that in video games long ago. Well, it's probably because most of their customers are uneducated slash stupid and get lured in by their impeccable catchphrases. Or because their higher-ups are too stupid to realise they run at a loss until the very end or use stupid AIs to do the jobs to do the same effect. But that is a video game world logic for you. Well, the vault maker should really switch to spaceship sized arcades and shooting galleries. He would probably make millions with that in the outlaw areas. Well, we now know for a fact that um, the vault worthy guy, that was just a front, a, a show of going out of business because very clearly he is very well, very well entrenched. He's doing his thing. He is... Well, he has um, built hidden places here, all over the place, and no doubt I'm going to find his contraptions in the following systems as well. But he's been far more widespread than he has given us any kind of hints, so he's probably just fine. <laughs> he's probably just fine. As for the rest, though, well, we do know that they have been using AIs to do some of this stuff as well, so... That would happen in the real world, though, wouldn't it? If you had the land, and you had the AI to do the thing, then you get rid of the workers. It, companies have been trying to do that for quite a while now. Though, um, it's the replacement of labour by humans by the labour of machines. It's an ongoing situation. So, we are in the early stages of that particular trend. Anyway, in this, in this world of megacorporations, that is neither here nor there because, uh, well, actually, no, we have got some mega corporations in the real world as well, it's just not on the scale of GMB. Or often, in the case of companies in other games, so it depends on worlds. I'm not going to try and justify that. Um, I do like plumbing into the depths of theory and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. That said, let's roll. There is another comment from Happy Aphis to do on the part 21, but I'm going to save that for later in the episode. But now, we must go and catch a drone, apparently. 
and hope that our little slip up with the boss doesn't cause problems. We must play this smart so we don't draw any attention. There are three service drone terminals marked on your HUD. By hacking these, you should be able to gain control of the drones and remotely steer them through the vents to the servers. Once there, hack the servers using the drones and download all of the data. Hmm. Sounds easy enough. So how did you end up working for the Commissioner again? I told you. I don't work for Hawk. I'm a free agent. But you must be a fan of the fleet to be going in this deep for him. Look, I have my own reasons for doing what I do. I only want to hold G and B to account for their actions. So you have a particular grievance with G and B. Okay, the question stopped there. You're not here to chit-chat. Oh, she's trying to be uh, all... Wow, I, I'm all mysterious. Um, just don't tr cut yourself on the edginess kind of thing. Fortunately, though, because of our roaming around last time, we've actually cleared out a lot of the route, so this was actually quite easy to get down to. There is a shield here, though. Mm. Oh. So far, so good. Now I just need to guide the drone to the server without drawing any attention. Hello, Inoculus, not conspicuous at all vessel. I will resume my pre-programmed task. Beep boop. All right, let's go. <laughs> I did not expect this. I get to play as the drone. I actually get to fly through one of these pipes, which is too small for my ship. And oh, I don't have a shield. That is chipping away at my health bar. Hmm. I'm guessing that that will probably be bad to trigger an alarm. So let's go through. I was about to fly through there. Now I can't see. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> so how do I get through there? I mean, I'm assuming it's bad if I fly into the thing. So it must not be through this way. Ah, I think I see what these emitters trigger. Turrets. How do I get through? Ah, I didn't go far enough. Okay, right around here. Oops. Around here. Ignore the gap. Down the pipe. Off we go. Jobs are good. And hopefully that's not an achievement for doing that without a scratch. And if there is, it's a very horrible achievement. to go. Okay. Oh. I figured this might be a good time to read the other comment. Actually, I was planning to read the first comment during this as well. Oops. <laughs> Moment I have a shield, I slam into a ceiling. Right. Um, from Happy A4 Part 21. The whole warden thing was quite unexpected. And I can't remember meeting any like that in the last game. I did get to the Becomes Black Hole part, I think. It got further than I did. I never got that far, actually. Uh, then again, I didn't play much further than the end of the Clone Cycle. Wait, the Clone Cycle ends in Everspace 1? I did not know that. Hmm. But then I think I got, what, halfway through? Oh, wait, hang on. I vaguely remember the Clone Cycle ending and being a final run or something. I don't know how far I got. Um, I might have to go back and have a look. Uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to do with this hole here. The terminal should be behind that door, but how to open it? Good question, Adam. I'm being distracted by the shiny container. Hmm, the shield is powered by a generator. Maybe I should check the other end of the cable. I was just looking for a cable, actually. There's the cable. Uh, let's see. Vault-worthy right here. Ah, I see a thing.
We have a thing. Okay, so that's opened that one, which I'm assuming is the first one. There we go. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, continuing on a little bit as I... Ooh. Sorry. This is why I don't try to do multitask like this, because I'm not that good at it half the time. I love this fact that there's a secure container. There's also shields and lights. Oh, I'll have to do this one. Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Right, uh, continue. Uh, the whole colonial fleet situation came quite unexpected, and even more so, their infiltration mission. I wonder if they notice you are an imposter. Oh, I think I, I get how it's going to play out. The emissional is going to show up just as you are about to leave, and you'll get chased. Well, the thing is that um, we've had part um, 22 after this. So we know that Adam has given himself away. Or at least I'm pretty darn sure he's given himself Where are you away. From, anyway? Just stay focused on the task at hand, please. Never. A simple question? Inari 17, okay? Inari 17? That's where G&B did open cast mining. I remember the story. They neglected to evacuate the settlements when the moon lost core integrity and fell apart. Okay, damn it, shut up! Look, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get your story. Yeah, well, you got it now. It's hardly unique in this shit reality, is it? Now keep yourself to yourself from here in. I'm just, I was fighting it for a while, but I'm, I'm just letting it go, but I'm, having to, I'm just slowing down to keep control. Oh, damn it. Well, I can always try again. Yeah. So, that, yeah, they, they decided to increase the difficulty. Mm. But, yeah, so um, the original is on long-term assignment, so either I'm going to be chased away by security, or... You do raise a bad point about coming back. But I'm wondering if um, a... Because the hypernet call doesn't... Uh, okay, they didn't react to that, apparently. Um, since hypernet, or whatever they call it, communications are specific to an individual, and don't seem to depend that much on location, I wonder if... Um, he'll call to ask about it and then discover from our, the other us that they haven't come back. So they're unaware of the situation that they're being told about. And that might be how this thing unravels. Either way, this is not a very likely to succeed kind of thing. Hmm. Interesting. I can't do anything about that. That means I can get down here with my ship at some point. Oh no, never mind. Apparently I can nudge that. I just went for the glowy objects. Apparently it was the solution. Come on, you probe droid. Yeah, that's that's it. A bit like a probe droid, isn't it? A slightly scratched, gently used probe droid. Okay. And only one server left. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I am not impressed, Vaultworthy. This was one of your lesser efforts. Look, they even labelled one, two, three, and then it's left to write on each of those. Now that will have opened this one. Skips that. Mm, yeah. Take the decoder though. More importantly, though, 
These aren't very well hidden, are they? More useless flotsam for the infantry. It's not always useless. There we go. And that is... Ooh, a perusa. Mine. Also a scat skull. Uh, actually, no, wait. The perusa is the uh, ore scanner one. Decent to have, but not as exciting as a observer. Hmm. Sorry. You know, you know how it is. See shiny thing. Must claim shiny thing. Oh, and traditional crash into the ceiling. <laughs> right, where's this next? Uh, hmm. Where is that one? Oh. Okay. Um. Let's get the last part of. Um, Oh no, there's actually several other parts to this comment. <laughs> okay, let's get this one out of the way first. Service terminal. How do I get to you? Mm, there must be a way to open that door. I will find the way. Uh, nope, you're just a ore deposit. Ah, I see glowy thing. Glowy thing is the solution. Why is the generator inside the pipeline? Probably to reduce the quality of life of service technicians, I suppose. Come on. Okay. Hey, look at that. I wonder what's down here, that they need to protect it that well. It's not a very big place, is it? With that said, there are actually security containers. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, okay. I see. Hey, there we go. There we go. More shinies. What have we got? We have got a uh, missile plating. Uh, one drawback of the Renegade stuff. It's got low repair unless it's GB and Ocar. So... That said though, it is very tough. Oh, minus 25% collision damage. Equip. <laughs> Given how much we're bumping into stuff. Okay. Scrap that, scrap that, right. Okay. We have got ourselves a thing. We are going to do the thing that is the thing over here. Right. Okay. Probe droid number three. No way. I killed one of you. Number four. Let's go through this way. Um, continuing then. Uh, the current ship loadout seems to be working now. Though that first fight in the high risk area in the beginning did still pose a bit of a challenge. I still think the drone or and sniper approach suits you better, but if you have fun with the setup, it's worth keeping. Um, I can have fun with this, this setup now that I've played it a bit longer. It's doing okay, but the problem I keep coming to back to is what I try to do with it in general, the scouts can do better in my playstyle. I can't really lean into the closer range the, sh the ship type actually wants me to lean into. That's my issue. Okay. So, honestly, I think um, once I get clear of this, I might just go back to... Oops, here. Go and swap ship either to the Vindicator, because... Those drones are a wonderful support ring to have. I don't trust that. Nope, I have no choice. Let's try this again. Hmm. 
rogue droid extraction pipe question <laughs> mark so yeah um I think just my overall playstyle still better suits the sniper or the drone carrier because yeah range of mobility or entire support wing of combat fighters I've not tried the other ships though so I might do that but um, yeah I think I will be swapping off this current ship in this mission after this mission just need to get down here yoink A so it was a case of wander too close. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder where that pipe goes. There we go. Right. Tammy, transferring all the data to you. Are we good? Hmm. A lot of it seems to be encrypted. It might take a while to decipher and analyze it. But I think that's all we can do for now. Great. Can't wait to get out of here. Yes. Better go while you still can. Well, best of luck in your endeavors. Yay! Your assistance is requested on an intercept of an Okar trader Ooh. before he leaves the system. Hey, Hive, you don't think that this Okar trader could be my old buddy Tareen? There is a high probability that this is the case. In that case, I'm. Uh... I can't let that happen. I have to warn him. Such an action risks breaking the rules and exposing your false identity. The Commissioner would not tolerate such mercenary actions. Can't stand by and watch friends die, Hive. Mm. Okay, so it is my job to get out there and do the thing. Also, that was a direct request, so they, uh, the Elite Squad doesn't suspect. Either that or they do suspect, or the other Adam is going to be there. Gonna have to wait and see on that one. Hmm, very nice. Gives us a reason to leave us anyway. Anyway, yes, moving on. Uh, oh, next one I should probably address straight away. I had glanced at the comment before doing all this, but um, it's one that should probably be touched on sooner rather than later. Hmm, scrap. More spare parts are always welcome, though. I do burn through a lot of those things. Right. So, next comment. Sorry, next comment. Next part of the comment. Um, this is another comment about game sounds. The in-game voice volume is a bit too quiet. Um, I sometimes can't understand them properly. The subtitles help, but I still want to hear what they are saying. And on the other side, your voice also tends to get a bit hard to hear during combat. The sound effects are nearly as loud as your voice. So I suggest saying the sound effects are a good bit lower, in-game voice is a bit higher. And this time I've not been wearing headphones for hours, my ears rested and still have these little problems with sound. That's... fair. Honestly... Often I find this problem in balancing in-game music is actually the most frequent one. Inish of Titan is a recent example. Some of its tracks are actually quite loud, some of its tracks are quite quiet. So if you're trying to balance one versus the other, then you're not going to be able to do it. Some songs you just won't hear, or if you balance against the quiet songs, the loud sounds, the loud songs drown you out. So it's just like, bleh. A bit of uniformity, in general, is um, nice. But anyway, let's see what I can do to fix this. Sound effects has already been turned down slightly. Let's knock that down another five points. Voice, let's boost that to 80. And I think background chatter... Does background chatter count? I'll, I'll boost that slightly as well. Sound effects down. Music, music sound. You didn't say. You didn't say anything about music in this one. Atmosphere, that's fine. Sound effects in battle. Okay, let's try that. Right. And last part. And finally, have some virtual head pads. Your videos are good, and your commentary is nice as well. Thank you so much, Happy Ava. To be honest, um. You are one of my longest followers at this point, so I assume I must be doing something all right. <laughs> but still, glad to have you along for this journey all the same. <laughs> I do love me some virtual head pats. But anyway, let's get out of here, shall we? Fly forth into the sun, as they say. No, into the light. As I go into the darkness. Hmm. That was some bad timing.
Now, wants me to go to an undisclosed site, the eye. I don't remember if that was on my map before, but um, I feel like in the systems, locations have been added as the story has progressed. So, I'll just have to see what happens here. I also do wonder about high meddling as well. Because um, those comments there from Hive suggest more than subtle adjustments. I'm still a bit suspicious of that. That's Tarine's freighter, all right. I advise you not to intervene on the side of the traitor. Let me try something else. All of you, leave the vicinity. I'll handle this. We are under strict orders from Mr. Blinkmore to eliminate the target. Yeah, well, I call the shots here. The outcome of this mission was determined before your arrival, sir. Nothing for it but to take them out. Hmm. Oh. I was going to cause completely the wrong... I was flying towards the base gate. <laughs> okay, take out the targets. You know what? I'll try my ultimate here because I've not done that before. I think I just broke the audio. Give me a sec. Tarine is me Adam. Oh, it, it did stop there. I think. Commissioner Hawk is expecting you at Noah Damara's starport for a debriefing. It is safe to assume that she will not be very happy about the outcome of this mission. I'll have to think about how I'll play this. Terrain, G and B were planning to kill you. Any idea why? I had been supplying them with drill parts for Viridium, which could not be acquired through their regular supply chains due to its illegality. Uh-huh. And I reckon they wanted to scrub any evidence of obtaining the parts through you. You need to tell me more later when we meet up at my base. But first, I have some business to attend to. You will find me where you sent me, Adam. Adam, I am safe and sound. If it were not for your intervention, I would be dead. Yeah, well, don't relax just yet, Tareen. It's not safe for you anywhere G and B are present right now. Here are some cords. It's a safe space in Cito. You're welcome to join us. That is a kind offer, Adam. I am compelled to accept. More guests for your secret palace? Are you sure the other inmates will be happy with this? Shut up, Hive. Oh. I feel like the order there was slightly off. Um, You'll find me where you sent me, Adam. And then he's just safe down. So yeah, I feel like that was slightly scrambled. Probably I killed one of them too fast. I don't know. But anyway... Long short of it is, we saved our friend. No, that's super tight aim. Keep it. Um, he's gone to our secret base. Um, happy, happy, happy. Inmates have a new friend. Inmates, though, there are multiple ships on that place. So, I don't think there's anything actually compelling them to stay there. They're not being forced to at any rate. I know that Adam didn't install locks and things on the place and if Dax did um, well if Dax had done that it would have caused problems before now though that said I, I suspect that Hive will have reported the outcome and the blowing of our cover so that said that said the GMB ships didn't actually send out a comm broadcast of telling GMB about my betrayal, did they? Well, at least we didn't hear them. Hive didn't intercept anything, so maybe we're okay? Question mark? But oh look, more undiscovered sites have popped up all over the place now that weren't there before. Anyway, what's our mission? Mission in the eye. Meet 
hawk at the Zarkov Transit Forum. That was over there. Right. Okay. Uh, I've had enough of this disguise. Hive, you can drop the sig too. As you wish. It is done. We are no longer Adam. You may have already noticed that I took the liberty of adding various locations to your star map after analyzing the data you gathered at Vesna Mining Colony. Nice, new locations to explore. I did notice, yes, thank you, Hive. Also notice he so willingly dropped the signature. Though he also knew that our cover was likely blown at that point, I guess. Maybe you know something I don't. <sighs> but anyway. I am no longer forced to play as Adam. Now I am simply Adam. Well, it makes about as much sense as everything else. <laughs> Spy games are all well and good, but uh, they do cause some confusion. Tractor things on cruise drive. Good to know. Back through the rifty jump shape over here for now. This end looks a lot more intact than the other one, I must say. Well, here I am at uh, Damaris Starport. The Commissioner isn't singeing my ears off with a scorn over the airwaves, so either she's not heard just yet oh, oh, oh. Superior Cruise Booster That will go great on my scout actually because mm, my scout has the speed boost on it <laughs> I did say Superior stuff is more common but yeah, either she's um, showing remarkable restraint or she hasn't heard yet, speaking of there she is. It's a shame this game doesn't let you actually play around in bigger ships. Because that's a sleek one. Let's see. Um, uniform uniform layout in traditional colonial style. Bonded curved hull to absorb the munitions of any protesting force. Pleasing blue ambience from the lights to keep your crew awake and alert. Plentiful engines for vigorous pursuit of enforcement duties. Four out of five would totally shoot at again. Yes. Maybe I should actually play a series on Rebels, um, Rebel Galaxy. Because you do play in like cruises and such in that one. Oh, but anyway. By turning your guns on the elite squad, you blew your cover, mm -hmm. ruined the operation, and risked the life of a valuable agent. It is fortunate that she has been able to cover her tracks, at least for now. Look, you got the intel you wanted, and I got something extra for you. I rescued a trader who will testify to the fact that G&B have been illicitly buying Viridium mining drills. I'm positive that if you were looking for incriminating activities, you have it in spades. Even though you didn't stick to the playbook, I must admit you are correct in that assessment. Oh, she's going to ask for something. The she gave us a compliment. Have enough to indict Blakemore. It is now more a matter of raising the political will to do so. Ah. Don't go far, Mr. Roslin. I may need you again. You will have to repay me for this botched operation somehow. See, there it is. I put my neck on the line for you. And your service will be noted for later consideration. Goodbye. What a rude woman. She, she let you live. She must have a soft spot for you. Uh, All right, let's get back to base and give them an update. She is the only reason she's spared me compared to the rest of the lineage is she can't. She hasn't got the authority or the force to go after the other Adam, the GMB one. Were you impersonating? I burn through wine kicks like crazy when I start modifying stuff, so I buy those up whenever I can. There we go. I'll take the mise on plating and scrap it. Right. So yeah. She's using me. She, um, she... 
pay her back for this botched operation. The operation she forces into at gunpoint, pretty much. We need to get back here pronto. Problems? Your guest has arrived. Tarina's there already? And an angry, shouty man. There's about to be a shootout on oh. the doorstep if you don't get back here soon. I don't like the sound of this. Maddox! The angry, shouty man must be Maddox. Hmm. So, I'm guessing, Ma well, I don't know it's Maddox, but uh, Toreen's not an angry, shouty man. So, uh, Maddox was the only other one we were sending that way. <laughs> I've... How many times have you seen me die? I would require time to process that question and formulate a suitable oh dear. answer. It is quite complicated, and possibly not something that you would be truly keen to know. Mm. All right, then. Just to reiterate, how many times have you seen me die? An AI construct made for logical calculation and thought can access numbers and records with ease, would have to... would have to calculate and run for an algorithm to work out how often Hive has seen me, as in the Adam clones slash lineage, how many times we have died. That is a frightening number if it stumbles an AI, to be entirely honest. And it's no wonder the uh, that lady views us at all, if that's what's been going on. <laughs> Oh dear. Now we just need to get home and find out what's going on. Hopefully before a firefight coat breaks out. Um, Maddox decides to hightail it because he, I'm his only point of contact, so he's just haul, hauled up and is shutting a bunch of strangers. Or... Yeah, this situation just got, goes from uh, worse to worse, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, we have to find out what happens. Let's see. No sign of gunshots. There were two ships parked. Promising signs. Our little fleet is growing. Oh yeah, look at that one. I think that's Taurine. And this one is, yep, this one is Maddox. Very different styles of freighters. Also, they can't dock and hide, I've just realised, so... Maybe you guys should have parked them in those rocks over there, that would have been a better choice than just sitting out here. Do you have shuttlecraft for boarding ships? I don't know. Looks like we got a bit of a situation on our hands here, buddy. New arrivals not getting along at all. Oh no. Maddox, Tareen, stand down. I came here in trust, Adam. I did not expect such hostility. Oh, typical lizard. Always blaming the other side. Cool it, Maddox. Cool it? You know what a runaround I've had to take? I showed up here first time and there was a damn fleet cruiser parked outside. So I took the long way around, came back, only to find the damn O-car at the door. Maddox, Tarina's is an ally. I explicitly invited him here. This does not sit well with me at all. Do I need to remind you that this is my base you're squatting? Things have changed, Maddox. Do you want help or not? Let's discuss this like civilized beings. Civilized beings, he says. Well, at least I don't shed my skin every few months like oh, a damn dear. iguana. Is a history there? Tolerable and despicable individual. Maddox, Tareen, I'm going to need you both to be quiet for a little bit. So, how is your League of Nations coming along, Adam? <laughs> yeah, Delia, I get it. Believe me, there is a purpose to all of this. Adam, my friend, I did not come all the way to Seto to be insulted by a raving species. I know, Tareen, and I apologize for that. I hate to have to say it, Adam, but this mix might not work. I see that, Ben. It's a short-term arrangement. Hey! The vending machine in the canteen only dispenses two types of ice cream! Oh no! <laughs> okay, Alec, that is the least of my problems right now. Please, everyone, just listen up for a minute. 
I brought Maddox here because there's a job I was going to help him with, which might benefit us all. But first, we need to track down Maddox's other partner for the full details of where we need to go. Yeah, it's true. I do need assistance, but I wasn't exactly intending to take on a whole damn crew. They come with me, Maddox. Either you accept that or you're on your own. So, what comes next? Old Eduardo has the rest of the map. Or, more to the point, he is the map. We left him on an asteroid in the Kaite Nebula. Uh... We dropped old Eduardo out there as part of the arrangements so the fleet couldn't find him. He should be right where we left him. Uh... Damn, Maddox. If this is how you <laughs> treat your comrades... What? It's what he wanted. We all need a little R&R &R from time to time. Okay, so... Let's get going. Nuh uh I still gotta fix the freighter mm. to make it operable after the blast it received. Ooh, maybe your half robot pal can help me with that. Uh, my name is Ben. Sure, I can help you. Of course you can, Taco Bot. Adam, you gotta locate Eduardo alone. Just ping me when you get there and before you make contact with him so he doesn't get spooked by a new face. What the hell, Maddox? Just get it done, soldier. We don't have any more time to lose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maddox is a real people person. Also, apparently speciesist. Taurine invited civilly. Massive friction there. But yeah, Maddox just doesn't get on with other people, so. Mm. Anyway, we have new pal, Taurine. Increase home base storage. More home base hangars and ship dealers upgrades. So we are going to be getting a whole bunch of these. Especially the hangers one. We need more hangers badly. Notice it does expand to have one of every ship type in the end. So that was included in the game. Which I'm glad to see honestly. Otherwise it would have been a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's go ahead and sort this stuff out. So where is this asteroid I'm looking for? Yeah, well, I didn't exactly write down the coordinates, did I? Thought we could be compromised that way. So I drew a picture, see? Now, he should be somewhere on a rock near that, uh, uh, thing. God damn it, really? Is this all you're giving me to go on? It's just a stick figure standing on a circle with some sprinkles <laughs> around it. I eat Nebula now! Sheer, you do whine a lot, don't you? <laughs> Maddox is a character. <laughs> Another incoming GMB general broadcast. It announces that outlaw forces have yet again gained strength in the CETO and Union systems. That's not good news. I was under the impression that you liked a challenge. Zarkov apparently is also level up. Just saying. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, my objective is all the way back in Zarkov. That's probably the jump connection down to the nebula. Still, they're abandoning that. Okay, anyway, I should probably just say. Um, I stepped out because I need some solar panels for upgrading um, Taurine's skill. So that's the reason there's some extra stuff here right now. Random commodities required. I wonder what needs the solar panels for. Maybe communication satellites for communicating with the ship traders? I guess. <laughs> Might be. At least this is the best place to buy them. This system has plenty. I have to kind of wonder about the nature of his friend, though. If he's had a holiday, like... If it's a person, hopefully they have a cryotube with them. Suspended animation when they're... Um, well... So they're not stuck out there eternally. Either that or they're an AI or something. I don't know. His comrade is the map. Hmm. There we go, solar panels. Also, nanoplating. Buy it because it's a thing. My credit reserves are dropping like a stone, though. I need to 
I'll try and do something about that. Do need those. Buying equipment is expensive. That collision damage is important, but thicker armor, I think. Holy moly, that's so expensive upgrade. I can't do that. Not yet, anyway. I just don't have the parts. But anyway, um, hang, spi hang space is increased to seven. And Flying Duchess now sells ships. There is a limited selection compared to other shops where they have some. Also, a set of passes for each ship. And more ships available at the ship dealers as well. So that'll make things easier to get a ship. So this last one, and the next one. The whole range of often ships can be replaced once every 10 minutes. That would be very, very useful for specifically trying to buy a, a certain ship class. A, a certain ship uh, level. So that's something there. It's all alternate things, though. I'm not sure how that works. I'd need to visit a ship, a ship dealer to check that. But uh, doing that, I had to craft a whole bunch of pulse mutators, which cleared me out on a bunch of resources, especially pure obsidian. So, yeah, that was expensive. But well worth it. Ah, Taurine's already proving a very welcome addition. And I think I said this a few episodes back, and well, a couple of times besides in this run through. It's like um, I was looking forward to getting Taurine because I knew that he had sh perks related to hangar size and ship dealers. So yeah, but look at that, I've only got 21,000 credits. Uh, I'm poor. I'm very poor now. <laughs> okay. A quick stop to Nefty Station, the nearest shipyard. Well, actually, no, there's. There's a flying duchess spawn much closer, actually. Never mind. Second nearest. But, uh. Just want to have a look at what's going on. Oh, look at that. That is much improved. And switch passives. Okay. Hmm. Nice. So we can actually double check these stuff and pick one we want. Enemies with enemies can regenerate shields. Quantum tether can grab through drones. Increase boost speed while under missile lock. So yeah, it is just the two sets, as far as we know. But we can actually actively swap them now, so we don't have to wait for one to generate with the required perks. Extra boost speed, ten seconds. I'm going to hit gain two percent armor recovery every second, up to half total armor. I was wondering about gunship survivability, if it can passively regenerate half its armour. That is actually quite powerful. And that is standard. Turret wall stat minus full laser turrets, or extra damage to drones and extra boost speed. Combat mines, that's everything. Meant reduced damage from explosion. I've never actually fired an Arc 9000. It's my whole barely use the uh, Ultimates play style, I guess. I just keep forgetting about them. That one is potentially quite powerful. You know how I flew a bomber a while back to. Um, well, it was off camera, but I did some challenges on it and I used self guiding mines. This one has a passive straight off, all target lock durations reduced by half. That is a very powerful one for a bomber. Third percent weapon range. Re reduced enemy detection range. Extra boost energy regeneration during status strike. <laughs> so it, it just gets the reduced detection range flat out. What does a Vindicator get? Maximum drones. Drones regenerate per second. Ooh, that is very nice. The drones often need repairing, but if they can self-repair, that will actually remove that as an issue. Or just reduce damage. Drones are normally failing. Oh, they aren't normally. 
I guess they're not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I will say that right now, though. I'm going to switch in ship, as I mentioned. But... If you have a class you want me to fly, of a preference, like that kind of thing, please feel free to let me know. It's not often I try to ask, and I usually don't get an answer, but I will mention it anyway. Um... If that's a preference ship you kind of see, just let me know in the comments down down below, or on Discord, and I'll see if I can pick one of those up for next episode. As a reminder, I have already flown bomber. Um, I do have a Sentinel, that the ship we started with, but I've not touched it since then. Scout, and well, we're coming off the. Uh, no, it's not the Vanguard. The Interceptor, I think it is. No. What was it? No, I should just switch, shouldn't I? Or I could just take my own ship thing here. Yeah. Right, um, Striker. Right. So, coming off Striker. There's Vanguard and Interceptor. Mediums. There's Stingers, Scouts, and pff, I don't know. <laughs> trying to be coherent while searching through the list. But yeah, if there's a ship class you want to see me try and fly, that's a GMB version, just let me know. One last thing to do, we'll just end this episode. Now that we've seen that, what well, that does. We need to go all the way over here to investigate this location. Just to see what's there. Just put, just to dip our nose in, and then not do anything beyond that. And that's where we'll leave it. I'm still very curious about what the nature of Maddox's friend is, though. Actually, since Maddox used to be a colonial soldier, is it an, an AI? Is it a hive unit, even? I don't know how widespread hive units were. Hmm. It's a bit of an open-ended question, but um, his friend is the map. That implies things. Something I've noticed um, at the jump gate in Union and jumping into here. I still don't know the system's name off my heart. Both times the enemies were level 16. So I don't know what levels things are, but uh, they seem to be a lot closer than they used to be. I am still ahead of the curve though, I know that much. And I'll be further ahead of the curve, because I plan to do some missions and things to uh, earn credits. Fun fact, missions don't actually give you XP, usually. Um, the EXP actually comes from killing stuff in missions. The missions themselves, if it's like a retrieval quest or something like that, don't actually give EXP. What the heck okay. is this? This is not your typical jump gate. It is not. My sensors indicate that this is the gate to the Kai Nebula. Certain markings bear a resemblance to architecture of the ancients, however recently modified. Uh-huh. And what can you tell me about the Kaid Nebula? It is renowned for its inhospitable nature, due mainly to the dangerous flora which inhabit it. There are also many species of fauna, unique to the area, which have yet to be entirely categorized. Tyranids? <laughs> Orcs? Oh no, it's not the Tau, is it? Hmm. Just not the Tau. Interesting though that this is like modified but has ancient Ooh, that actually damages me. Flying through that beam. There's something in the stream. Ugh. Yep. Hmm. Also. Abandoned 
Why are there abandoned ships just sitting here? Why are there abandoned ships just sitting here? What's going... This is... Uh, hmm. Also, is the map... It might be a... a form of native fauna I guess that wasn't an option that occurred to me actually when I was wondering about the nature of um, Maddox's friend though Maddox is a speciesist question is if that is just towards the Okar and if something happened regarding that though of course got to remember Maddox is an ex uh, soldier so that might be why he hates the Okar rather than just being speciesist I don't know <laughs> Yeah, ancient, ancient stuff. Ah, uh, is is junk cake tech from the ancients? Might be. Might be why they're so eager to get at the ancient relics and stuff. I mean, um, I don't know if I mentioned it so far in this series, but I think jump gates is probably one of the more realistic FTL options we might get access to in real life eventually. I think um, because having a stationary structure dedicated to connecting via some kind of um, tunneling method through space-time or however they w we wind up doing it to a similar structure somewhere else as an anchor point I think it's one of the more likely versions of FTL we might get eventually. Because having a small ship carrying a power source capable of breaking physics, unless they break physics in a very special way, is not as attainable as a large dedicated structure, which limits, um, on the, on the flip side, inherently limits the size of a ship because ultimately they've got to be small enough to go through these the uh, apertures of these devices to actually get transported in the first place. <laughs> ah, lore, settings, space. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do like space. Just a bit. But with that said, we have taken a quick look around here. So it is time to end. So a reminder, go ahead and let me know if you want me to fly a certain ty type of ship next time. If not, I'll just pick on my own bats. But uh, yes, until then, this has been Armat3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the show. It's really intriguing this. If they're abandoned, ultimate question is what happened to the pilots? Were the pilots left on the other side? Or taken to the other side? Did they voluntarily get out in spacesuits and then just drift through the gate? I don't know. The ships look, look intact, though. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out me, helps out the channel, gives me those virtual headbats I oh so crave. And I'll catch you all some other time. Oh. Intriguing. I have no idea what lies beyond that gate. Yeah, see you all later.